Hi, my name is Carl from the Suffolk Labs Company, and this is a very short video just discussing the, our new range of old English um, ironmongery. The whole idea behind this new range was that you can have, well, have four distinct colours or finishes, and this can be taken right across the board. So we can have a doorknob with escutcheons, hinges, door stops, um, to name but a few. So in a minute, we'll dive right in and have a look at these things up close, and I'll discuss all the various component parts. Okay, here we have the four finishes up nice and close. Uh, we've used the um, bun doorknob to, to show them off better. So the first one we have here is the um, antique brass. You can see this sort of nice sort of brushed effect with a sort of two-tone shading. Uh, the next one we have here is what we call the urban bronze. Again, a much darker doorknob. And coming across here to this uh, sort of distressed silver. Quite nice this one here. You've got in effect got this sort of like uh, almost like a putrid effect, sort of two-tone. And then finally we're coming over to the uh, gunmetal one. But again, much flatter, sort of like, like a, a dull grey, again, sort of like, like a smooth pewter, where you can describe it. Um, well, that is that is the four finishes. And what we'll do now, we'll go straight over and we'll look at the various component parts, which again come in the four distinct finishes. In front of me here right now, all the different component parts within this particular collection. Um, what we'll do now, we'll get in nice and close, and I'll just discuss each one briefly what they do and how they, how they fit within the range. So starting here, we've got the, um, Sort of much more bun doorknob, and that, uh, and we also have the other option here of the reader doorknob. Now these will work in conjunction with this um, heavy duty or architectural tubular latch. Heavy duty means it's got quite a strong spring, so even though it's quite soft to press here, the internal spring here is actually quite tight. Um, with unsprung knob, you've got to have a fairly good uh, um, return on on the spring here. Again. The, um, Again, that will work in conjunction with this dead bolt, and the dead bolt would sit underneath this or above it for a bathroom, and that will then again work in conjunction with a bathroom turn release. So this has been turned, and that's been the release on the reverse side of the door. Again, and again, they, um, they come in the four colours, and also with these two um, products here, they will come in four different four ends and strikers. These particular knobs here have a, a concealed fixing, so you get no screws on the inside, but we'll cover that later. Um, we also have over here um, a fairly standard internal three lever lock. Again, this one's actually fire street fire rate. It comes with uh, two keys and it basically it's, it's a dead bolt. So, so if you want to actually physically lock a door, you could put that below the doorknob and you could lock the door. Again, it's three lever, it's for internal use. It wouldn't pass any regulations uh, regarding your, uh, uh, your house insurance. Hinges, um, th uh, three, well two, Two stars and uh, and okay, again four finishes plus the parliament hinge. Parliament hinge is a great product. Um, it's designed to in effect bring the door slightly away from the wall. Uh, so if it's like an internal door, um, this gap here will actually allow the door to open up and bring you away from the architrave so you can bring it flat against the wall and quite stylish. Um, here we have a ball bearing hinge, been around for years, but the most traditional of all is this sort of double sort of uh, phosphor washer hinge. Um, in, to go with the um, three lever lock, we have got these uh, matching escutcheons to go either side. Um, this component part here, which you might not, may or may not recognise, but this is this we use typically for an internal door, like a French door, where you would perhaps you occasionally want both doors open at the same time, but most times you're going to have one, have one locked off. So this will fit top and bottom edge of the door, and you'll pull this little lever here, and that'll lock it in. That's what we call a 150 millimeter um, bolt. Um, for the back of the door, we've got these um, actually really quite nice um, double uh, coat hooks, um, again, in the matching four finishes. And then we've got an array of door stops, depending on, on where you need to fit them. Um, this particular one here, you unscrew the top to get a fixing down for the bottom. Um, the next one here, the half moon, that's got a, a stud that sits in here and a screw. And the idea is you'll, in effect, drill a hole, align it perfectly, and then do your final fixing there so the door will sit here flat. And then finally, this one here is used, um, again, is used for 
essentially on skirting boards just to keep so that so you can keep everything off the floor. Well, that essentially covers our, our range of um, products within the old English range. Um, a couple more resources you might want to look at. Um, to the right hand side of a normal PC or a, or a Mac, you'll see a couple of tabs. One's uh, saying PDF drawing, one's saying DWG. Uh, the PDF is a detailed technical drawing, so you can actually find out how, you know, what size they actually are. And the DWG is designed for architects or designers who want to actually extract these files and use them onto their um, for their projects. Well, I hope you found this uh, video useful and informative, and uh, thank you for watching.